All right, we are live here with former WWE Tag Team Champion Sylvain Grenier from La Résistance. I think you're three-time Tag Team Champion, is it? You're actually wrong, it's four times. Four times, and we just did an interview with Nova, who was Simon Dean. He had a lot of nice things to say about you. Do you have any thoughts about him? Well, uh, he's on my top two list of all time. Uh, we had so much fun on the road. Uh, he's actually the worst driver in the world. Lost every time, even with a map quest, because at the time it was the little thing we plug uh, on the dashboard. And I remember Reading, Pennsylvania, keep turning around and keep turning around. And I remember saying, God damn it, God damn it. We had so much fun with No on the Road, with Rob Conway, with uh, sadly your friend Landscape. He passed away a couple of years ago, and uh, it was a blast. Being with him on the road was, uh, was a blessing because the work is hard, but having fun going to work, man, that was cool. I miss him, actually. I miss you, Sandy. Nova, and brother. What are you doing now for people that uh, don't know what you've been up to here? Because you have a TV show coming out in Quebec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been... Uh, I've been on enough TV uh, since I left WWE. Uh, we we did a couple of things. Uh, we actually did a wrestling TV show on RDS in 2013, maybe 2014. Uh, I did the uh, voiceover for TNA for nearly eight years, and now I'm coming out with uh, a new uh, TV show. It's more about fitness, health, lifestyle. Uh, has nothing to do with wrestling. Uh, it, it, it should be fun, and I know all the wrestling fans gonna enjoy the show because they're gonna learn about uh, all the athletes train and secrets and uh, little tips about supplement and uh, food and dieting and a lot of stuff. Someone here is asking if you had any ne negative feedback yourself over the whole. Bob Holly thing with Renee, or were you kind of when, uh, Bob Holly and Renee? Oh, when, uh, when that happened, did that affect you in any way? Or well, I was not with Renee at the time. Uh, uh, I was with Rob, I think, as uh, in, in tag team. And Renee, well, mm. Renee at the time was really fucked up, and what he did was fucked up. Uh, was the punishment was the right thing to do at the right place? I don't know. I'm not the judge. But in the old days, that's how it worked. And uh, if I was in a position uh, where Bob was, I would have probably, probably surely done the same thing. But Renny was a kid, he did stupid things. And uh, you know, Bob was a veteran and he didn't, he didn't appreciate and respect the fact that Renny, uh, Renny, Renny knew wrestling. I was green as hell. I didn't know the politics. Renee should have known better. And he fucked up, so he paid the consequences. And people can actually book you and Renee now if they want to book you. Oh, yeah. Uh, man, we had a great couple of conversations, me and Renee, and he actually uh, apologized to me for, for the time he messed up. And uh, I forgive him. You know, he was a kid and he was, uh, he was not in a good place. And... Uh, I know we clean his act now. So uh, yeah, me, uh, sometimes me and Rob, me and uh, me and Renee, we, we do uh, separate things with La Resistance, but I was three times champion with Rob as La Resistance and only one time with Renee. Renee was really, really close. Uh, was from like March to not even September and I broke my neck. So that was not a long, but people remember because all the, the, the promos we did, the singing the national anthem, but most of my time in WWE as tag team champion was with Rob. And you even worked with Hulk Hogan initially before the La Resistance thing. Yeah, yeah. People remember, uh, they, they brought me in. I was not even on the contract. I was uh, training at Rocky Johnson down in Florida with Orlando uh, Jordan. And um, yeah, they, they, they needed a referee from outside uh, the circuit so people they didn't know. And the gig was happening in Montreal, so they thought about a French Canadian 
and they thought about me and uh, they brought me in for a couple of weeks before the show not telling anyone why so they put me as a referee I got so much from all the referees because they didn't know what I was doing I was start getting built up as a wrestler I was bigger and they didn't understand why I was a referee I was passing you know, over uh, some uh, some veteran, Kyoto didn't like me, all those guys. And uh, finally they realized it was for uh, a spot at uh, No Way Out with uh, The Rock and Hulk Hogan. Why they didn't use a referee uh, from WWE? Because there was supposed to be a follow-up with Hogan. Okay. And there was uh, even talk about having a match with me and Hogan but my visa could not be uh, uh, produced in the right amount of time. So we only did a gig as uh, WrestleMania 20, WrestleMania 19 in Seattle, 18, I can't remember. 18, I think 19 may have been Seattle. Seattle. And I uh, did a run in and uh, Jack Doan was coming in, I nailed him, jumped in the ring. Uh, tried to help Mr. McMahon beat Hulk Hogan, it didn't work. I got the three punch from Hogan and uh, voila, it was a great moment. I'm, I'm one of the few who were in the ring with Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania. So I was blessed. Hopefully, you know, my career couldn't start different with uh, Hulk Hogan having a little match, something screwed up, and having a little angle with him. But, I was not even close to be ready as a wrestler for that to happen, but you know, that resistance came and that was a great blessing. Someone's asking if you could change anything about your WWE run, what would it be? Oh my God, if I, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, I wish I, I'd been more ready for the spot they gave me. Uh, I was talented on the mic. I was good uh, with that, but the, the, the ring portion, I was so green. I was training for months. You know, I, I, I signed up, they got my visa, six months later, I moved to the OVW, and I think a couple of weeks after uh, being in OVW, I was tag team champion with Renee, so story-wise it was cool, but I was not ready, but at the time I was happy, I thought it was normal, as a kid, and uh, for me it was like, yeah, I deserve to be champion, even if I was not ready for that, but... And I could know you got to get a Montreal Canadiens uh, game to go do, so we'll keep this short. But Thank you. Yeah, go go. there's a fan that says you look good, and they've always wondered what your diet and workout routine was like. Well, watch the show. Uh, it's probably going to be on YouTube. Uh, it's going to be Le Fit Show, and probably we're going to do it in English for TSN. So watch me on uh, Instagram, Sly underscore Perso, personnel, and uh, my full name uh, on Facebook. So. And one, uh, one final question, uh, now that you've said your social media, which I'll put up on the cool. description, um, what was your favorite moment in WWE? Oh, man, cannot beat winning the title in Montreal. 20,000 people, I'm going there tonight. So every time I go there, I get goosebumps because I got 20,000 people chanting my name once in my life. And that was special. And I remember that day, I gave around 65 tickets to all my close friends. So. I got goosebumps thinking about it. And uh, man, some of my good friends were crying in the stand because they couldn't believe it. And thinking about it makes me uh, emotional. But it was so, so much fun. And I realized afterwards, uh, at the time, Chris Benoit was world champion and tag team champion with Edge. So it was a big, big moment. And at the time, we didn't even realize. They told us around five o'clock what was gonna happen. So. It was, uh, it was crazy, but it was unforgettable. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, okay. and uh, good luck with all of your uh, endeavors.